Hey there, friends. Good morning. July 6th. I'm up early. I'm watching Abby Martin on Joe Rogan. There's two things I just want to mention. Number one, this Google is building a tech dystopia in Canada. I just listened to that. Now, there's something about all this that, you know, I'm trying as well to encourage private sector to not sit around and wait for like 2020, some new election, like this whole thing about can we address the, it's not just refugee crisis in the conventional sense of people escaping bombing in Syria and Libya and flooding into Europe and all that. Then there's people leaving economic hardship, which can be also, you know, there's all the standard narratives of how we get to have refugees and we don't really mix them together. But for example, I bring in military people on base around the world who are basically refugees from capitalism, quote unquote. No one talks about refugees like that, right? But English is malleable. And if we allow ourselves to be restricted to just what's called legal English, or maybe is that the King's English? I don't know. But anyway, we had a a revolutionary war to have to not speak the king's english right so anyway abby and uh, joe are both freaked out by this google experiment in toronto it's pretty sounds you know all i know about it is what i just heard them talk about so i just wanted to put that out there because it is what i'm encouraging in the sense of People not waiting for politicians to make things happen. If we're all just going to sit around and wait for the political discourse to finally get around to, um, you know, all this detention center stuff is really troubling to people, but they think the way to fight it is to write to Congress. And as I point out, given the Grunch of Giants, Medal of Freedom winner, Bucky Fuller narrative, we're not really necessarily dealing with a government. We're dealing with an oligarchy. Um, and histor looking back, it's not a good idea that uh, we just sat around and twiddled our thumbs and made ourselves subservient to um, an unconstitutional power, right? So is that a radical thing to say, or are we just talking about history? Another thing, okay, that I also thought, found, found interesting, they start, the way the algorithm worked is they rolled into another episode of Joe Rogan talking to Abby. I guess the first thing I watched where they're freaking about, they're both episode 1316, in case you're interested. And I haven't watched the whole thing. I am an I'm Abby Martin still... fan, like I watched her quite a bit over time, but... Never on Joe Rogan, so I've never seen this 1316. It already has 1.5 million views, right? So this is big time. It's like my views are like one, two digits or something at this point. But they're talking about a fake general that they're introducing in the movie. This is what Joe's criticism of Oliver Stone's movie JFK is about he's saying what they just made up this fake general and stuck him in there and what is that about it's like how can you have real history where you're looking at some kind of murder mystery and how do you solve it by inventing characters and then they talk about donald sutherland character i think the character he's talking about he's not clear to me but is the uh, man x right now, if you know your history, Man X is not a fake guy. He's Colonel Fletcher Prouty, 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 and and this guy, Man X, actually toured with Oliver Stone after the movie was made, saying, yeah, I'm Man X. I'm the guy, right? I'm the Donald Sutherland character. It's based on me. Not a fake guy at all. And, in fact, a guy who was, right, in the CIA Talks, he's on YouTube all over. I mean, he's passed away, but you want to study him, I definitely have. Very interesting writer. One of the more interesting writers. So, if that's the character they're saying is made up and fictional, then no. So, hey, do some home, don't do some homework. But maybe they're talking about someone else. But Abby did mention Donald Sutherland, so I think they're talking about 
that character, but he's not as fake as they think. Now back to the Toronto dystopia they're talking about. And by the way, what I've had on the screen this whole time is just some kind of ad of some kind. I don't know for what. Um, sorry about the visuals here. I should probably just, in some cases, just go to straight podcast in the sense of audio only. Um, but what do we want to do in terms of creating like a city from scratch thing? That's what gets, that's what I like that idea that we can experiment with new cities. This is a good thing, but also being critical of it and saying it's creepy. That's okay too, right? So I'm not against that Joe and Abby would have severe questions about the Toronto experiment. But on the other hand, I think we need something better. Um, you know, they're building a permanent little town. They're not thinking in terms of refugees or campus for refugees, but we need to have more discussion of the science fiction that we are going to create in reality, right? So I agree with their opening conversation that censoring the internet isn't going to help. This is how we have our conversations. Okay, my morning. Haven't even had coffee yet. Talk to you soon.